everyone, and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care podcast and video. I'm Dwayne, and I'm a certified RV inspector, and today we're going to talk about how to avoid the pitfalls of financing your RV. RVs can be very expensive. In fact, these days, it's not hard at all to spend $100,000 on an RV. And of course, the bigger it is, the better quality that's built into it, and so on, well, the more expensive they're going to be. And that means that for many, an RV is the second biggest purchase that they're going to make in their life in many cases, other than their sticks and bricks home. So how do you pay for such a big ticket item? Well, of course, probably the best thing to do is just pay cash for it. But who has that kind of cash available? Well, if you don't have the cash to pay for an RV, then in most cases, you're going to need to finance your RV. You're going to need an RV loan, but RV loans have pitfalls. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to talk about a process for getting an RV loan and financing your RV that works best. First of all, in that process, this is something very simple that I encourage you to do, but believe it or not, a lot of people don't do, and that is have a monthly expenses budget. That's the only way that you're really going to know how much loan payment you can afford. You have to know how much money is coming in every month, how much money is going out on the various things you pay for, and then you can figure out what your costs for the RV is going to be. And keep in mind that the loan payment is just one of the costs associated with an RV. You've got to budget in things like fuel for going on trips with it, maintenance and repairs, RV insurance, camping costs, and other things. So make sure you include everything in that budget that you're going to be spending on the RV. And that will also help you know how much you can afford for the loan payment. Now, once you know how much you can spend every month for your RV, then you need to go online and find an RV loan calculator. It's very easy to do. Just go to Google and type in RV Loan Calculator, and you're going to get a lot of sites that have them, and they're all pretty much the same. All you have to do is enter in the amount you want to finance and the length of time you want to finance it, and then it'll tell you what the monthly payment will be. So you just keep adjusting the amount to finance, and then you can get it to the payment that matches what your monthly budget says you can afford. And then you know how much you can spend for an RV. Now, the next decision is, is it going to be new or used? Well, if you go the new RV route, there are advantages because the RV loans actually have lower rates. However, that can be easily offset by the fact that when you buy a new RV, you take a big depreciation hit on it in that first year of ownership. So buying used, you avoid that big hit in depreciation and the depreciation from there forward is much lower. You also get the advantage of having most of the bugs worked out by you know year one or two. The new owner finally got through all the bugs that the factory had uh, missed in their quality control and so you get the advantage of that as well. So you can also save money on the cost of the RV as well. But now on the other side, the loan rate is going to be higher. So balance all of that out and decide which works best for you. The next point is know your credit score before you get into this. This is super critical. Your credit score is going to affect your RV loan rate. And a lower score means you're going to pay more in interest. And a higher score means you get a better interest rate. So if your credit rating, your score is not good, then start working hard to get that credit score up as soon and as quickly as you can. 
The next thing to do is go ahead and start shopping for an RV loan because now you know how much you can afford. You know how much the RV needs to cost for you to be able to have that monthly payment and you've decided whether it's going to be new or used. Now you can start shopping for the loan itself. What I recommend is start shopping with your personal bank or your credit union. That's a great place to start. They know you. They know your finances, your history. Very often, they're going to give you a very favorable rate. But I don't recommend just stopping there. Go online and shop some companies like Lightstream, like Good Sam and Alliant. These are companies who specialize in RV loans. Shop them, see what rates they're going to offer you, and then know what your choices are. If you find some good rates that really seem to work well, then I highly recommend get pre-approved with that company or bank or credit union. And that way, they're going to say, okay, for this amount of money on an RV, you're approved. All you got to do is just go out and buy the RV that matches that. Now, you can start shopping for the RV itself. And that means you're probably going to go to some dealers. And you know what? The dealers are definitely going to try to give you an RV loan. They want you to finance your RV with them. Why? Because my friends, the finance department in an RV dealership is one of the biggest profit centers of an RV dealership. So they make a lot of money in there. And here is where you need to be prepared. See, everything you have done thus far is preparing yourself to not fall in that pitfall that RV dealers lay out for people with RV loans. It's true that the dealer is going to make you a, an offer that's easy. The whole point of an RV loan at an RV dealership is it's easy. It's simple. They pretty much take care of everything for you. So a lot of folks just like that. But see, when things are easy, it's very often things that are going on in the background that's going to cost you more in the long run. So I don't recommend that you avoid dealer financing because sometimes they may actually beat the other loans you've been able to get pre-approved for, but that's not usually the case. So the point is this, compare loans. When you go shopping at the dealer, if you are prepared, you know what you can get and you know the deals that are available. You know what your options are. Now, the next thing you want to consider is the length of the loan. How long are you going to finance this RV? You know, these days you can finance anywhere from 10 to even 20 years for an RV in some cases. But what I'm going to tell you, my friends, is remember this. RVs are not investments. They are depreciating expenses. They're like your car. They go down in value every single year. An investment, on the other hand, is supposed to go up every year. That's not what happens with RVs. So my point is this, don't finance too long. I know it's tempting to try to get that monthly payment down as low as you possibly can, but you can get yourself in trouble that way because if you hold on to that RV, that RV is depreciating in value and in its existence every single year. So you may come to the end of the life of the RV and still have a loan to pay. So don't try to finance an RV loan for too long. Well, if I had to sum up all the things that I've talked about today, then let me do it in this sentence. I encourage you, take the whole RV loan process, the process of financing your RV, slow. Don't go too fast. Know what you're doing. Know what your options are. And don't impulse shop. 
If you follow that advice, you can get an RV loan that really works. It works for you and your needs. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.